Meteorologist Lenny Pope, we had a pretty nice weekend. Stayed pretty dry. Lots of people could get outside if they wanted to, but it was hot. <laughs> Definitely hot, Brianna, and we have got more heat in the forecast this week. We're going to have some of the hottest days that we have had so far this summer. Take a look at High Point. Makes you want to jump in the fountain, doesn't it? We have mostly sunny skies out there for you today. Very little in the way of rain and really not much wet weather in the forecast for the next couple of days. So that means it's a great pool day, right? You've got 86 for a high tomorrow in the foothills. We've got high temperatures close to 80 in the mountains and we'll be in the upper 80s close to 90 across the triad. We've got 90 degree heat from now all the way into the weekend. We have low rain chances until the latter half of the week. So if you've got some yard work or you just want to get outside and have some fun, you've got a couple of dry days for that. And then scattered showers and thunderstorms do look to return by Friday into Saturday and Sunday. The tropics are quiet right now. We're always keeping an eye on those. Things are good so far. As far as the radar goes, we have had a couple of sprinkles here and there this evening, but it is largely dry. It's also warm where temperatures are in the upper 70s, close to 80 degrees from Winston-Salem to Greensboro. We've got 69 in Martinsville and 68 in North Wilkesboro. Our high this afternoon made it to 90 degrees. Seventh 90 degree day we have had so far this season. And yes, above average, our average is 88. But July is typically our hottest month, so it's not unusual for us to have some 90s. And we are going to have a stretch here. 92 on Wednesday, 93 Thursday, and 92 on Friday. Now it is going to be muggy again tomorrow, but actually it's not terrible. It starts to get a little more uncomfortable by Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday because we're going to couple the high heat with high humidity, which means heat index values are going to really climb into the upper 90s. Now, we have a little division here where it is very moist to the east and not as moist as you work your way up toward the mountains. And that's because we have a frontal boundary that is just east of us. It's the reason we have dried out so much and you can see the moisture being pushed off to the east and then the drier air kind of pulling in. This front is not going to be moving a whole lot, but it will likely just sort of sag to the south over the next two or three days. I think that we're looking at the rain far enough to the southeast that we have less than a 20% chance in the tri for tomorrow. So if you look at the hour by hour forecast map, this is early tomorrow morning where everybody's pretty much in the 60s and 70s. And then by tomorrow afternoon, many communities are up and over 90 degrees. And it's also a mostly sunny Tuesday for you. We're looking at a few more clouds coming in on Wednesday and then a rain chance returning by Thursday. Here's your 12 hour forecast. We've got 68 degrees tomorrow morning. It's not too bad. We're 84 at lunchtime and then a high tomorrow afternoon under mainly sunny skies of 90. Our temperatures are climbing in the foothills as well, so we're up to 89 tomorrow afternoon. We do have a light north breeze out there, so that'll help a little bit. 80 degrees by 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon in the mountains, and then a high of 83. We don't have any major fronts that are going to cool us down. They're going to really be hard pressed to move at least into the eastern half of the nation. There's one out there right now, but because we have a big ridge of high pressure, a big dome of hot air that's going to build and sort of cook each and every day, we're going to prevent any major weather systems from coming in here, at least into the weekend, it looks like. Heat index values are going to be in the mid to upper 90s, Wednesday, Thursday, even into Friday and Saturday. So get set for some of the heat of summer and you'll really start to feel it. So here's our seven day forecast with temperatures in the low to potentially some mid 90s, overnight lows in the 70s, better storm chances coming late day, Friday, Saturday and Sunday.